Downfall is a 2004 historical war drama film directed by Oliver Hirschbeagle from a screenplay by its producer, Bernd Eichinger. It is set during the Battle of Berlin in World War II, when Nazi Germany is on the verge of defeat and depicts the final days of Adolf Hitler. Plot In November 1942, at the Wolf's Lair in East Prussia, Führer of Nazi Germany Adolf Hitler played by Bruno Ganz invites a number of young women to interview for the position of his personal secretary. Trottel Junga played by Alexandra Maria Lara is overjoyed when he chooses her. Two and a half years later, the Red Army has pushed Germany's forces back and surrounded Berlin. On Hitler's 56th birthday, the Red Army begins shelling Berlin city center. Reichsfuhrer SS Heinrich Himmler played by Ulrich Nothen, and SS Brigadefuhrer Walther Huell played by Alexander Held, try to persuade Hitler to start peace negotiations with the Allies, but Hitler refuses. Himmler leaves to negotiate terms with the Western Allies in secret. Later, Gruppenfuhrer Hermann Fiegelein played by Thomas Kretschmann, Himmler's liaison officer at Hitler's headquarters, also attempts to persuade Hitler to flee, but Hitler insists that he will win or die in Berlin. SS Dr. Obersturmenfuhrer Ernst Gunther Schenk played by Christian Berkel, is ordered to leave Berlin per Operation Clausewitz, though he persuades an SS general to let him stay in Berlin to treat the injured. In the streets, Hitler youth child soldier Peter Kranz is played by Dun van Gunia, father approaches his son's unit and tries to persuade him to leave. Peter who destroyed two enemy tanks and will soon be awarded the Iron Cross by Hitler, calls his father a coward and runs away. At a meeting in the Führerbunker, Hitler forbids the overwhelmed Ninth Army from retreating, instead ordering Obergruppen for Felix Steiner's units to mount a counterattack. The generals find the orders impossible and irrational. Above ground, Hitler awards Peter his medal, hailing Peter as braver than his generals. In his office, Hitler talks to Minister of Armaments Albert Speer played by Heino Furk, about his scorched earth policy. Speer is concerned about the destruction of Germany's infrastructure, but Hitler believes the German people left behind are weak and thus deserve death. Meanwhile, Hitler's companion Eva Braun played by Julianne Kohler, holds a party in the Reich Chancellery. However, her brother-in-law Fijeline tries to persuade Eva to leave Berlin with Hitler, but she dismisses him. Artillery fire eventually breaks up the party. On the battlefield, General Helmuth Weidling played by Michael Mendel, is informed he will be executed for allegedly ordering a retreat. Weidling comes to the Führerbunker to clear himself of his charges. His action impresses Hitler, who promotes him to oversee all of Berlin's defenses. At another meeting, Hitler learns Steiner did not attack because his unit lacked sufficient force. Hitler becomes enraged at what he sees as an act of betrayal and launches into a furious tirade, shouting that everyone has failed him and denouncing his generals as cowards and traitors. He finally acknowledges that the war is lost, but that he would rather commit suicide than leave Berlin. Schenk witnesses old men being executed by German Felgendarmerie for supposedly refusing to take part in the fighting. Hitler receives a message from Reichsmarschall Hermann Göring played by Matthias Nadinger, requesting state leadership. Hitler declares Göring a traitor, ordering his dismissal from all posts and his arrest. Speer makes a final visit to the Führerbunker, and admits to Hitler that he has defied his orders to destroy Germany's infrastructure. Hitler, however, does not punish Speer, who decides to leave Berlin. Peter returns to find his unit dead and runs back to his parents. Hitler continues to imagine fantastic ways for Germany to turn the tide. At dinner, Hitler learns of Himmler's secret negotiations. Hearing that one of his most loyal followers has abandoned him sends him into another rage, and he quickly orders Himmler's execution. 
He also finds out that Fijiline has deserted his post, and has him executed despite Eva's pleas. SS physician Obergruppenfuhrer Ernst Robert Grawitz played by Christian Heining, asks Hitler's permission to evacuate for fear of Allied reprisal. Hitler refuses, leading Grawitz to kill himself and his family. The Soviets continue their advance, Berlin's supplies run low, and German morale plummets. Hitler hopes that the 12th Army, led by Lt. Gen. Walther Wenck will save Berlin. After midnight, Hitler dictates his last will and testament to Junge, before officially marrying Eva. The following morning, Hitler learns that the 12th Army is unable to relieve Berlin. Refusing surrender, Hitler plans his death. He administers poison to his dog Blondie, bids farewell to the bunker staff, and commits suicide with Eva. The two are crudely cremated with petrol in a ditch in the Chancellery Garden. Propaganda Minister Joseph Goebbels played by Ulrich Mathis, assumes the Chancellorship. General Hans Krebs played by Rolf Connies, fails to negotiate a conditional surrender with Soviet Marshal Vasily Chukov. Goebbels declares that Germany will not surrender as long as he is alive. Goebbels' wife Magda played by Karina Harfauch, poisons her six children with cyanide, before committing suicide with Goebbels. Weidling announces unconditional surrender of German forces in Berlin afterwards. Many government and military officials including Krebs commit suicide after learning of Germany's defeat. Peter discovers his parents were executed. Junge leaves the bunker and tries to flee the city, Peter joins her as she sneaks through a group of Soviet soldiers before the two find a bicycle and leave Berlin. About the film. The film was directed by Oliver Hirschbeach. The screenplay was written by Bernd Eichinger, based on books, Inside Hitler's Bunker, by historian Joachim Fest and the memoir, Until the Final Hour, by Trottel Junge, who was Hitler's last personal secretary from 1942 to 1945. Melissa Muller was Trottel's co-author on the book. The casting of Downfall includes Bruno Ganz, Alexandra Maria Lara, Karina Harfauch, Ulrich Mathis, Julianne Kohler, Heino Ferk, and Thomas Kretschmann. The movie Downfall was filmed in Germany, particularly in and around Berlin. Director Oliver Hirschbiegel aimed for historical accuracy and meticulously recreated Adolf Hitler's bunker to depict the final days of the Third Reich. The film's music was composed by Stefan Zacharias and scored by Bernd Eichinger, who was also the screenplay writer. The soundtrack features a mix of original compositions and classical pieces to complement the film's intense and emotional scenes. The movie, Downfall, was released on September 8, 2004, at the Toronto International Film Festival, followed by its general release in Germany on September 16, 2004. The film's production budget was approximately 13.5 million euros. At the box office, Downfall achieved significant commercial success, grossing over $92 million worldwide. Downfall received widespread critical acclaim. The film was praised for its compelling storytelling, Bruno Ganza's exceptional performance as Adolf Hitler, and its realistic portrayal of historical events. It was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. The film's legacy lies in its profound impact on cinema and its portrayal of one of history's most controversial figures. It remains one of the most notable and respected films based on World War II and has become a reference point for subsequent historical dramas. 10 Interesting Facts About Downfall Movie 1. Bruno Ganz's portrayal of Adolf Hitler is considered one of the most compelling and powerful performances in cinematic history. 2. The filmmakers recreated Hitler's bunker on the original location where it once stood in Berlin. 3. 
Bruno Ganz studied Parkinson's disease patients in a Swiss hospital to prepare for his role as Adolf Hitler. 4. The film received an Academy Award nomination for Best Foreign Language Film. 5. Most of the outdoor city scenes for the movie were filmed in St. Petersburg, Russia. 6. Many of Adolf Hitler's lines are historically accurate, based on accounts from Albert Speer and Trottel Junga. Most of them, however, are from earlier dates. 7. After Hitler kills himself, several soldiers take out cigarettes. Hitler, as mentioned in the film, didn't smoke and there was a rule that no one was allowed to smoke near him. 8. Adolf Hitler's beloved dog, Blondie, was poisoned because Hitler wanted to be sure his batch of cyanide was not fake. 9. The cast and crew have all said that the most difficult scene to shoot was the one in which Magda Goebbels murders her own children. 10. Bruno Ganz prepared for the role by listening to the unique and only known recording of Adolf Hitler, when he had a private, relaxed, normal tone talk conversation with Marshal of Finland Gustav Mannerheim. Finnish intelligence agents made the recording secretly in a train wagon, as Hitler did not allow recordings nor photographs to be taken in private. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos and don't forget to press like button and share.